Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Big O Top 20 Countdown. Top 20 Hip Hop Top 20. Uncle Bean, you guys, let's get into this countdown. The number 20 song comes from a really, oh man, it's really cool. YG and J. Cole and Moneybag. This song is called Scared Money on Big O Top 20 Countdown. Yeah, y'all, we did the number 19. We, that was the number 19 song, Chris Brown, Iffy. We're talking to our guest, Uncle Bean. What's going on, brother? How you doing? I'm blessed. Scared money don't make no money. You know what I'm saying? We on this countdown. Big up all of Yo, definitely check out this man. His ambition, his drive is priceless. You know what I mean? This love for community, family is priceless. Always big up all of We're going to do this, you know what I'm saying, top 20 countdown. Let's get it rocking. Let's go. Tell me, tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Let's go. Hey, hey, love and respect to all the listeners. Keep on supporting the channel. Keep on supporting uh, Olu. Tell your friends, subscribe. You know what I mean? Jump on board. Let's take off on this ride. You know what I mean? Waves going. Go with the current. Ride the wave. Let's go. Yeah. Well, tell me, the people you don't know, you tell them about you. Tell them, tell them about you. Tell them about you. All right. Uncle Bean, Uncle Bean, yo. I am, I am Skid Row. Uh -huh. I am Chicago. I'm, I'm Planet Earth from the universe. I'm made of everything the universe is made of. My music, with my literature, all this stuff, you know what I mean? It, it, it's great. You know what I mean? It's great. It's from the heart. It's sincere. And I want everybody to really tap into it. Like with, with the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of records I recorded, everyone and anyone will find a song that is relative to what they're feeling today. How did you get started in music? Come again? How did you start in music? What, what made you start in music? Music is language. Since I was a child, you know what I mean? Um, the same way I speak, you know what I mean? When, when Rastafari said words, power, and sound, you know what I mean? From, you know what I mean? Just sounds, period. Our words are sound. Words, power, and sound. You know what I mean? We can communicate. So whether I beat a drum, I'm communicating. Whether I'm playing the saxophone, I'm communicating. Whether I'm playing uh, percussion instruments, I'm communicating. You know what I mean? When I sit here and I play my music, sitting in Skid Row every fucking day, I'm, I'm communicating. Word, power, and sound. And that's what I would say about my music, that, you know what I mean? Um, I'm communicating with the massive from all perspectives of life. Dude, how are you doing for music, man? How, how are you doing for music? I tell the part, sitting Hello? like the phone, breaking up. How long? How long? Have you been, how long have you been recording? How long have you been a recording artist? Oh, I've been a recording artist since I was like. Um, Probably like 11, 12 years old. Wow. That's yeah, I've been, that's I've been recording music since I was like 11, 12 years old. I didn't have my own studio set up until I was like, uh, like 18, 19. And when I got my own recording studio set up, uh, um, I just was more so just excited and happy about recording music, you know what I mean? I really didn't um, trip on the quality of the sound. I just was happy just to be recording music. But at the same time, I was I was still in a advanced marching band at the time in a, in a jazz band in, at Curie High School with Mr. Crane and Mr. Hines. Yeah, uh, I was a saxophonist, and uh, um, when, when I first arrived at Curie High School, I played the saxophone, the alto sax, 
you know, and um, they put me in intermediate my freshman year. And then my sophomore year, they put me in a uh, marching band and a jazz band. And I basically, for the jazz band and the marching band, I played the baritone, baritone saxophone. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Wow, you know, we're going to talk more to our guests. Mr. Bean, let's get back into the candy. The number uh, 18 song comes from Gucci Man featuring Lil Dirk. This song is called Boomer. On the you said what? On Soul Train, yeah. Well, yo, let's oh, yeah. The it's Soul Train, yeah. You know, we all grew up off of Soul Train. You know what I'm saying? American Bandstand, and you know what I mean? All that stuff, Motown, live, and all that stuff. You know what I mean? We grew up off that stuff. You know, and it, it, but that was a, it, it was a, a, definitely a different time. You know what I mean? Because we can reflect and, and think about all those different shows, and we know it's a different time. But at the same time, like even with Showtime at the Apollo, uh, uh, um, a lot of us didn't have those opportunities. To, you know what I mean? To touch those stages. That's right. That's right. That was the number 17 song, No Don't Get, featuring Little Baby, New York Sun. We're talking to our guest, Uncle Dean. Uncle Dean! Music! Can you come again? He said, I'm going to talking to you, Uncle Bean. What's going on? You said you got music. You said you, you, you said you're from Chicago. How, how, how did you make it out there alone from Chicago? Well, uh, um, my journey was my journey, you know, uh, um, life decisions, life choices, and I, I made some bad decisions. And um, even I, I mean, I can say today that uh, um, me leaving Chicago at the time that I did was a great decision because I left on a run. But uh, um, part of the reason why I only came here was to pursue my dreams and aspirations, you know. I didn't come here to, you know what I mean, to be in the streets, to be homeless, you know what I mean? You know, the penitentiary or none of that. I came out here more so to be creative and share my arts and fulfill my dream. You know, but with responsibility, life situations and circumstances always come into play and so we have to deal with them. And I have to deal with them the best way that I know. Especially when I'm, I'm facing dire situations. How many, how many albums do you have? Out? Come again? How many albums have you recorded? How many albums do you have out? Independent albums, studio albums, independent studio albums, myself, like 20 some, almost 30 some albums. Some people might consider a mixtape, but yeah. Over, over, over 30 some, you know what I mean? I, I got over um like three, four hundred songs. You beat me down, man. <laughs> you beat me down. <laughs> yeah, I got over three, four hundred songs. I said, damn, I thought I had a lot of records, man. <laughs> you beat me. Yeah, and um everything has been independent, you know what I mean? Based on my survival, you know what I mean? I have to survive, so I do what I do to survive and fund everything that I do, you know what I mean? To establish something and try to create some type of, uh, some type of uh, foundation for my sons, you know? I understand, I understand. Help them to inherit and be able to manage, to inspire them, to, you know what I'm saying, to be great. Um, that was going to be my next question. How was it? How was it being a father and also being being uh, uh, an artist? Well, it, it's very difficult because I'm a distant father. Hmm. You know what I mean? I, I don't wake up to my kids. I don't go to sleep with my kids. Both my kids in two different households. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They, they both have their stepfathers. You know what I'm saying? Their mothers and. You know what I mean? Only time I'm present is when I do have the, the, the opportunity to spend time with them. So, for the most part, it's, it's very difficult. It, 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 it's hurting. But then at the same time, when I'm able to spend time with them, it's heartwarming. You know what I mean? It always, you know what I'm saying, lift uh, a load off my, my shoulders. 
to give them the insight and the, 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 uh, the guidance that I feel is necessary at the present point in time when I'm blessed to have the opportunity. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I'm not for a lot of them. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell them the truth. I'm going to, you know what I mean? I'm going to share information with them to guide them to be greater than I am within myself to make them better, you know what I'm saying, individuals within themselves. And like I told both of them, they're individuals. I know they're not the same, you know what I mean? You feel me? They're not living the same lives. You know what I'm saying? All of us, we live in like parallel universes, but we're all not the same. You know what I mean? And they have to understand it about each other and just communicate with each other. You know what I'm saying? And allow each other to be themselves and grow and build and then I myself I have to you know what I'm saying continue to exercise the fact that I understand that they are individuals you know what I mean they go they have to make their own life decisions I can't force no decisions on them you know what I mean on none of that you know you know but um I give thanks to the most high that I'm able I'm able you know what I'm saying to shine some type of light in their lives and at the same time, they shine light in my lives. It's like I told them, every day they're learning, I'm learning. You know what I mean? Every day we all learning. You know what I'm saying? I'm growing with them. We all growing at the same time. Yeah. Ain't never yeah. been through this before. I ain't never had a 17 year old and a 14 year old before. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, it, it, it's new to y'all. It's new to me. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand. I definitely understand. But you know, we got more to our guest, Uncle Dean. But let's go back in the countdown. The number sixteen song today. This song was called Body Inside. That's so cool. Body Inside. Ooh, it's got plenty countdown. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be doing some projects and things in the dollar community with clothing. The family is going to be a little bit creative and so be in your mind. Yeah, but tell me a little bit about this song, Dean. I, I, what'd you say? I, 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 I was trying to, uh, my, my apologies to the audience, my apologies to anybody who watching. Uh, um, I was trying to mute it so everybody could um, hear you and they can hear me because you know I'm, I'm out here on the block uh, downtown LA Skid Row so everybody got their loudspeakers bumping and, and all that stuff but you know what I mean we keeping this thing going what you actually getting on low tell me about this song we're about to get into your song My Shoes tell me a little bit about this song oh My Shoes the history about My Shoes you know it's a uh, uh, um the reality is, it's kind of like what I was telling my kids, you know, uh, um, the life experiences that we all have in your life experiences, Olu. You know what I mean? Everything you would do, don't nobody know what you done went through. You know what I'm saying? And you fought all, all every battle, you know what I'm saying, that was that, that's placed in front of you, you fought it. You know what I mean? And can't nobody walk a mile in your shoes. Don't nobody know, you know what I'm saying? How you feel in your shoes today? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, at times you might have to wear orthopedic shoes. You know what I'm saying? And they wear regular shoes. They don't know. They, you know what I'm saying about your shoes? They can't walk them out of your shoes. They don't know your feelings, man. You know what I mean? As much as you loving them and show them love, they don't even know how much you loving them because they can't even fathom that because they never had nobody to show that same type of love too. They never experienced that. That's true. And they can't That's walk true. a mile in your shoes. That's true. But you know what I mean? In my experiences, That's the situation true. with my son, Buffalo can't walk a mile in my shoe. Going to prison and all that That's shit, true. not being able to see my kids born and all that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's, so that, 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 that's, that's really what the song about, like life experiences. You know what I mean? I can't judge nobody like, I, I really can't. You know what I mean? That's right, that's right. And I just, I just support them in their life, you know? That's right, that's right. Let's get, so let's get into it. Let's get into the extra song of the week. Uncle Bean, my shoes. 
I'm like, ooh, top 20 countdown, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great song. I like that song, Dean. I like that song. That song was really, really great, Dean. So um, you say you, you've also you've also had the book come out, right? You also have a book that's been out. You also published a book, am I correct? I can't hear you. Your audio is off. Your audio, you are mute. You mute. You're on 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 mute. You're video. Unmute. Unmute your phone, man. Unmute your phone. Oh, my apologies. See, I'm trying. I'm trying to uh, uh, keep all the noise out. But yeah, I got a self-help book called uh, "Easy to Do Bad, Hard to Do Good," and also I have a um, a poetry book called "Broken Down House Still Standing." And uh, um, they, I haven't distributed them yet. You know what I mean? It, it, they're definitely going to be published to my publishing company, Uncle Bean Publishing. You know, so um, it, it's definitely going to be great. Um, also, I have some screenplays, and um, um, I'm pushing them out there, shopping them around. Okay. Now, um, one of my screenplays. I'm hoping one of uh, um, like my, my cousin Demetrius Matthews. He uh, has a lot of projects in the works. He just put out a docu film, and uh, um, possibly we'll be working on the, um, the put the shoe on the other foot film together. Okay. So the books definitely there. You know what I mean? Um, put the shoe on uh, uh, other foot is a screenplay. Broken Down House Still Standing is the poetry, and Easy Too Bad, Hard to Do Good is the self-help. Oh, wow, that would be so cool, man. I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait to, to, to uh, watch it. Wow, oh, uh, and, 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 oh, look, you know, like with everything, like I have to get some visuals. So I, yeah. I definitely would love to, for you to be a part of like, like all the visuals. And um, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of the stuff, like as far as the filming and whatnot, so I'll be that, blessing, blessings, blessings. Yeah, great, great, great. I'll be directing. So, you know what I mean? So I'll, I'll basically hire a production team. So it'll definitely be, you know what I'm saying, something beautiful. I'm doing that. Let me give them all detail right now. This guy is Hey, I apologize for my dumb phone. This technology is it, 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 it's great, but it, it be fucked up at the same time. It's it, it was breaking up like crazy, and all these buses riding past at this hour. It's like I, I do. You know what? You didn't hear my audition, man. I was auditioning for your for your movie. I just did an audition. No, but I, I already told no. you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Regardless, I got you. Matter of fact, I'll tell you like this. I got you to the point where, just say like um, by Friday you can come by here. And I'll give you the script for the scenes that you're in okay. and the character role that you're playing. And I'm you'll down. have all your lines so you can memorize all your lines. I'm down. Just let me know. Let me know, brother. Oh, yeah. Down for and, 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 and we can shoot some scenes, and that could be a part of the trailer. Blessings, Bless King. Bless and that could be a part of the trailer for the, for the film. Let me know. Let you know what I mean? When we shopping it, it could be a part of the trailer for the film. I'm always down. I'm always down. I'm always down to do what I got to do to act. I'm always, I'm always down. And I, I, I definitely know for a fact you're going to make the cut. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. But you know what? We're going to get back into the film down. The number 14 song comes from Ari Linux. This song is called Pressure. On Big Old Stop the Countdown. Yeah, y'all, we did uh, three in a row. Ari Lennox, Pressure. We did number 13 was Future, Worst Day. And number 12 was Young Blue, Chris Brown. And- <laughs> the
welcome to come out with you and participate, support, whatever. You know what I mean? It just depends on my schedule, but you know what I'm saying? Keep me updated so I, I definitely know it. And I, and I make sure I start sharing it more and more. You know what I mean? I see, I, I see certain things on Facebook and Instagram and whatnot, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we see each other face to face. We've been calling each other, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we need to continue to do. We don't got to do all social media for us to communicate to make these things happen, you know? The truth. That is the honor to God truth, brother. I'm with you. Yeah. It's been an honor to God. Every, every time. Holy Mary, Allah, King Salah, Jai, Rastafari, and all those that's Muslim. Ramadan, Mubarak. And as you, you know what I'm saying, the response would be Ramadan Kareem. Blessed, blessed, blessings, blessings for every one of us. Love and respect always, kings. Yes. But let's get into the comedy corner. The comedy corner is by a new Facebook friend of mine. He said what? Ledma. We get into the comedy corner uh, by my good friend Ernesto Led Led Zima. Big old top twenty countdown. Yeah, y'all. That was the comedy corner by a love. They're funny. Ernesto Ledma, we're talking to our guest, Uncle Bean. Uncle Bean! Big up! Bless, 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 bless. I know the story, but tell me, tell me the listeners. Yeah, you know, um, you said next month, whatever, whatever, I'm with it. Um, yo, 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 tell my listeners. How you got to Uncle Hey, the sound keep breaking up on my end. I, I apologize. I apologize. How did, you, how did you get the name Uncle Bean? Tell my listeners how you got that, because that's not that's not the real name. Oh, uh, Uncle Bean. You know what I'm saying? My nieces and nephews start calling me Uncle Bean. My little cousin, they was calling me Bean. My brother was calling me Bean. And then my mom, my auntie, them, they started calling me Bean. So my nieces and nephews started calling me Uncle Bean. And from my nieces and nephews, that's how the name Uncle Bean derived. You know what I mean? And I take it as a, as a sense of responsibility. You know what I mean? Because I have a responsibility to them. Before I had kids, I was an uncle. Before I was a daddy, a father, I was an uncle. You know what I mean? And so when they say Uncle Bean, Uncle Bean, Uncle Bean, Uncle Bean, and so I even made songs like 2000, 2001, Uncle Bean, Uncle Bean. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. In reverence to my nieces and nephews. And, and then at the same time, like I said, I have a responsibility to them, like I have a responsibility to my kids to show them something different, to try to give them something better. To tell them it's, not, it's, it's, it's okay to be different. If motherfuckers say you're weird, it's okay to be weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as you make sure you're taking care of yourself and you, you know what I'm saying, being creative and having fun in your life and taking care of yourself in the life and, 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 and you know what I mean, caring about family and life, blessings, blessings, blessings. That's what matters. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're gonna talk more to Uncle Bean. We gotta get back in the contact with the Mr. Smith and Boys. The other song comes from Queen Naja and Big Sean. This song is called Hate. Hey, fam, your, your phone going in and out. I can't even hear your audio. Uh oh. The number ten song comes from Ten Chains. That was the number ten song. Money bag, pop music. Um. It's time to get the second Uncle B song. This song is called Stuck in My Way. Tell me about this song, Stuck in My Way. Tell me about the song. Uh, uh, stuck in My Ways. Oh, uh, um, the reality of Stuck in My Ways is this. You know, uh, um, it's, it's an old school phrase, mm -hmm. you know, and majority of the time when people use that phrase, they use that phrase pertaining to other individuals, especially like older individuals, yeah. you know? So when they, when they would see a, a man in his 50s or 60s or 70s or what have you, you know what I'm saying? Even in the 30s and 40s, they would say, he's stuck in his ways or she's stuck in her ways. But the reality is all of us 
it's certain things we will not tolerate. It's certain things we do not accept. It's, it's certain ways that we were brought up with certain principles, morals, and values, and things of that nature. And so, therefore, we refuse to accept anything other than we have standards, and we refuse to accept anything other than. And so, therefore, we will be classified as being stuck in our ways. All right, now. <laughs> and that's more so what, what that song is about. Is it certain shit I will not accept. You know what I mean? And me, as your brother, it's certain shit. If you're in front of me and somebody try to bring some shit to you, Olu, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let you accept that shit. You feel me? I'm going to dress it. You feel me? Because I'm stuck in my ways. That's the truth. You know what I mean? And I know that shit don't don't fly with me. It don't fly. It ain't going to fly with us. You know what I mean? So I'm going to stand on it. You know what I mean? I'm stuck in my ways. I'm going to stand on it. You know what I mean? Until I go, I'm going to stand on it. That's right. It can't be cow guy because I ain't going to let him take me away. (laughs) That's right. That's right. But y'all, let's get into the song, Stuck in My Ways by Uncle B on Big Top 20 Countdown, baby. Yeah, y'all, that was the second extra song. There's so much that you've done, Uncle Bean. What is one thing that you have not done that you really, really like to do? Give me a short answer. <laughs> um, block off all the blocks and do a big concert for Skira. You know what I'm saying? Block off majority of all the streets and have a big event for my community, our community, people that I'm gonna miss every day, and share my life with them. You know what I'm saying? On the greatest scale that I've been sharing it with them for the last 22 years, you know what I'm saying, some change. Yeah. Wow. You know what I mean? And include my whole family, and include the whole community, because the whole community is my family. That's right. That's right. That's right. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. So for the second time, let's get back to this countdown. The number nine song comes from JNR, Choi, and Yeah, y'all, we did a three in a row for you. We did uh, JNR, Choi, and the moon. We did number eight. Now it's time to get into the third extra song of the week, which comes from, uh, which is the independent song of the week. It comes from Uncle B, and this song is called Celebrate Life. Uncle B, tell me about Yeah, absolutely. Song. You know what I mean? I'll say this, like, with Celebrate Life, though, uh, period, point blank, and it's going back to what I was just talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm stuck in my ways, and I want everybody to celebrate life. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? When I was a kid growing up, you know what I mean? Uh, and and aspiring to be a, a rap artist, superstar, uh, um, famous or whatever the fuck the case may be. My main ambition for doing that was to take care of family, take care of community. And today, I'll say fuck morning. Hmm. You know what I mean? I don't want nobody to be uh, shed no sad tears, no none of that. Fuck morning. If anything, celebrate life. Celebrate the moments that you have with me. Oh, Lou, I remember the moments in the store and all that when you used to come by the store and shit, sit with me and shit. You know what I mean? I remember all that shit. I remember coming to, you know what I'm saying, your event and all that shit. You know what I mean? Celebrate life. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna celebrate. We ain't to the more no death. We celebrate life. Every moment you know what I mean? If I, it's like if, if if I go jump on a plane right now and I disappear, you know what I mean? And I say, hey, I ain't coming back. I'm finna hop on this plane. I ain't coming back. I'm finna go hop on this plane and go to paradise. And I ain't coming back. I don't want you to be sad about me, you know what I'm saying, going to paradise. You know what I'm saying? I want you to celebrate the life that we had. Yep. Yep. The life you have, the time that you have with me, while well, we got it. Yep, yep. And as long as you got life, you always got it. 
as long as long as you got life, you can always think about me. That's you know right. what I mean? It's like, but you guys, let's get back. Let's 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 play Uncle B. And, and so more so, like, uh, um, I don't know what version you said to play because I had a celebrate life song for the radio show when I, I used to do the the radio show on Skid Row at Skid Row Studios. But then I have another version of Celebrate Life. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's from my 2009. I think the, 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 the 2009 version is the original. And then I did another version, you know what I'm saying? Like 2013 uh, for my radio show when I was doing my radio show, Skid Row Studios. Let me, let me know whatever, whichever one you want me to play is what we're going to play. We're going to play that. Celebrate Life, whatever version you want me to play. On big old. Stop the song of the week. Celebrate life by Uncle Bean. Bean, yeah. you've done so much. You are so much, man. You've been through a lot. Uh, um, is there somebody special that you share your life with? Oh, you talking about my personal life, my business? Yes, I'm. I'm yeah, I'm in. I'm in your business. Yes, yes, I'm in your business. Hey, I, I, I celebrate my life every day with Margaret Mungai. Oh, that is so awesome. My baby, Margaret Mungai, that's my baby. Yeah. Oh, I celebrate awesome. life with her every day. That is awesome. Yeah, man. She, 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 she's, she's a great woman. She's a great woman. You know what I mean? Congratulations. She might not understand me all the time, but still, she a great woman. You know what I mean? Oh, cool. That is so cool. She speaks several different languages, and I and I speak a whole lot of different nigga languages. <laughs> oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We're gonna get more into that. We're gonna get more into that. We're gonna get back in the countdown. The number six song comes from uh, Fireboy Boy DML. The song is called Peru. No, it, it's, it's it's so beautiful. She's yeah, I, I tell you, she's a beautiful person. She really is. You know what I mean? Regardless when she thinks she does it, she still compliments me. The number five song, we're doing the countdown. The number five song was, was uh, we just heard the number five song. I, I tell you, he keeps going in and out. I'll I be hearing half of what you're saying. Right now we're playing now. Right now we're playing the old school jam of the week, which comes from Charlie Mingus. This song is called So Today's celebrating his uh 100 birthday. So let's get into it. The old school jam of the week, Charlie Mingus morning on big Ooh, top 20 countdown, baby. Yeah, y'all, that was an awesome morning by Charlie Mingus. We talking about Jeff Sabine. Mr. Yeah. So give me uh, a five minute. Give me uh give me uh like uh five minutes, just five minutes of your final thought. Just give me your final thought. Are we, we gonna take a five minute break? No, 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 no. We're not taking a five minute break. I want you to talk just for five minutes or less on your final thought. Give me your final thought. Five minutes or less. What you want me to talk about? Anything you want to talk about? You got five. You got five minutes. All right. Let's go. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to say for five minutes? What do, want to, what do you want my listeners to know in five minutes or less? I'll give you four. Now nah, four minutes. All right, let's go. Talk. Oh, say something, brother. Hey, this is Uncle Bean. Okay, this that uh, four minutes or less. I have five minutes, but I was moving too stush. But I'll tell you like this. Um, at the end of the day, I, uh, I have the utmost respect for Chris Rock. Yeah, I have respect for Will Smith. And I really feel like really and truly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Chris Rock is just doing his job. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't have slapped, dude. You know what I mean? And then furthermore, G.I. Jane, if you ask me, G.I. Jane, you know what I'm saying? She was a powerful woman because she did everything that most motherfuckers told her she couldn't do. Now, and now with everything that's going on with these politics, Ukraine and all this stuff, you know what I mean? And it's affecting American people. And then they keep on shelling out uh, uh, billions of dollars to, to Ukraine, you know what I mean? And you still got all these issues over here. Deal with these issues over here and, and let them handle it, you know? But at the same time, young women and, ch young, young women and men, 
please stay away from the drugs and narcotics and things of that nature. I understand that a lot of this music, you know what I mean, you're intrigued by, you're entertained by, things of that nature, but that don't mean that you have to entertain the drugs and the substance abuse and things of that nature. You really need to focus on your education. Educate yourself, build up yourself, strengthen yourself to be a better person for yourself. Because at the end of the day, all them people that have been deceiving you and lying to you, they're not going to be there. And only people going to be there is the same people that you're treating bad. Your mama, your daddy, your cousins, your aunties, your uncle, your grandmother, your grandfather, the people that's going to take care of you when ain't none of them people there. So please make sure you do appreciate them. And going back to what I said, yeah, I understand a lot of us are stuck in our ways. And nobody can rock our shoes, but you must celebrate life and appreciate the people that's in your life that care about you. That's pure point blank. Oh, Lou, I celebrate your life. Yeah, I might be stuck in my ways. Nobody can walk in our shoes, pure point blank. And I'm going to celebrate our lives all day long. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and if anybody really don't know what I'm talking about, all you got to do, go to UncleBeanEntertainment.com, U-N-K-A-L-B-A-N.com, Google my name, whatever the case may be, U-N-K-A-L.com, Spotify, Tidal, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, iTunes, Apple Music, everywhere. Bean, don't sign off yet. We're not done yet. We, we're not done yet. We got to get to the number four. Number no, I'm four. just I'm, uh, I'm just letting them know. And at the same time, if you need somebody to talk to, you can call me. Or you can just come right down here in Skid Row and you can talk to me right here. You know what I'm saying? See the downtown skyline behind me. You know what I'm saying? You can come downtown Skid Row and talk to me. Yeah. But you know what? You know what I'm saying? Young you. adults, adults. You know what I mean? You need a friend? Hey, we right here. Go to the website, contact me, or just Google my name, contact me. Everything beautiful. It's love, love and respect always, all day. Yeah. Yep. Let's, let's get back in the countdown. The number four song comes from Gunner. Yeah, y'all, we did a three in a row. We did. Gonna have young Number three was super. Hours and hours. Let's get the number one song. The number one song comes from the Black. Super Junior. Yeah, y'all, that was the number one song. We're talking to us. We're talking to our guest, Uncle Bean. Uncle Bean. Yes, sir. Tell, tell people how they can reach you. Oh, yeah, you definitely can go to um, UncleBeanEntertainment.com, U-N-K-A-L-B-A-N-E-N-T, you know what I mean? E-R-T-A-I-N-M-E-N-T.com. Also, you can just, you know what I'm saying, type in Uncle Bean, U-N-K-A-L-B-A-N, in Google, and everything will pop up, you know? Awesome. Also, again, iTunes, Tidal, uh, Spotify, Google Play, these are almost everywhere. Yeah, so you know what I mean? You can find me. Just, you know what I mean? Type in the name. Yeah. I think this is about 218 or 19. So we've been doing this for a long time. Once I thank you. Um, well, you uh, can reach me at www.linktree.com. Uh, you get a link to the show, link to the album, and I'm going to give a special shout out to everyone. You guys, and also the song of the week. This gospel song of the week comes from a really great gospel artist uh, who turned 25 years old today. This is the new song. This is an old song. All greater things. God, man, you know what? We're gonna end this. God bless. God keep you. Yeah, give thanks, and praise to the Most High every day. Holy, my whole life, the last day.